Sorry for the hiatus, but you guys are getting my final two classes in one video today. So let's jump into it. All right, so you may be asking yourself, why are you doing two uh, classes and two pretty important classes in one video? Uh, and full transparency, I'm just entirely too lazy to make two videos out of it. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've been on here. Uh, honestly, uh, I had that one last OA for data management uh, foundations and when I passed it, uh, I was like, I have one thing left to do, which is the capstone. I'm just going to do it. So I focused on doing the capstone and knocked it out pretty quickly. And then after that, uh, it's been about a week or so since I completed the capstone, or at least it got sent back to me with no revisions. And uh, it's been a long time since I have had absolutely nothing to do. Uh, I mean, I like playing uh, video games and hanging out with my family and just all the things that you feel like you've kind of been... Uh, I don't want to say video games are neglective, but, you know, like especially hanging out with my family is I've kind of neglected, you know, to knock out this degree, which you, I guess you have to sacrifice in order to, uh, you know, complete a degree like this. But I don't know. I've just been kind of enjoying life, and uh, I really kind of put you guys on the back burner, to be honest. But I'll jump into all of that in, like, a WGU wrap-up video that I end up making at some point in the future. But, uh, yeah, jumping into C175 Data Management Foundations... Now, with some courses in WGU, you'll come to realize that it's like, oh, I, there's not enough in this class to help me learn what I need to learn. Uh, this course is the opposite side of the spectrum on that, is, is information overload. Uh, there are so many supplemental things to go over that you don't even really know where to start. I um, want a caveat off of uh, what, well, that was a caveat off of what somebody on Reddit said, is like, that's kind of like the overwhelming part of this particular class right here is that you don't even really know where to start because there's so much. Uh, if you jump into the course search, there are uh, supplemental videos, but they're atrocious, uh, they're terrible. It's literally just, for one, they're not even shot very well. Like, it's a very grainy, just overview of the Zy books, which I hated the Zy books in this too, which is the course material. I didn't think it was very good either. But uh, those supplemental videos are just a guy going through, I think this is Zy books and saying, this is a definition, this is a definition, and the, he's talking is monotone, this right here is a definition, you know, normalization, for, yeah, like, it's the most boring, atrocious videos, with all due respect to who made them, I'm sure you worked very hard on them, but just so you know, they're not good for somebody like me, anyway, but, uh, I apologize if whoever made those does end up seeing this video, but I did not like them at all, but, uh, anyway, so, I went, if you go to Reddit, there's a bunch of guys that, you know, or girls, whatever, that go over exactly what they did to pass this class, uh, and I followed one of their threads. Uh, well, a lot of them say the same thing. Uh, your main thing to pass this class right here is going to be Dr. Soper, I think is Dan Soper, S-O-P-E-R. Uh, his uh, series on data management uh, was great. Uh, it was very engaging. There's a lot of visuals to help you get by. Um, I thought it was really, really good. That's going to be like your meat and potatoes of passing this course is watching those videos. He does go over a little bit of things in there that I don't think was actually in the course, but uh, it's still good to know and still everything you need to pass the course is within those videos. Uh, he goes over normalization, uh, the relational model, uh, the entity relationship diagram. I can't even remember what it's called, but he goes over pretty much every single thing that you need to uh, pass this class. Now, was this class hard? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it, data uh, and data management is very new to me. SQL is very new to me. Normalization, all that stuff is very new to me, but it's not hard to pick up in my opinion. You know, this is all just you know subjective off of John's opinion here, but uh, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, but there is a bunch of new material. Uh, going over the Quizlet helped me out a lot. I watched that Dr. Soper's videos multiple times uh, because he's he's very good. I think he's a professor at some other university, but he goes over everything really, really well and uh, makes it easy to understand. Uh, you can like go out there. If you're having a hard time with normalization, you can go out there and find videos that sum it up uh, really well also. I mean, this class shouldn't really take you more than a week or two uh, unless you're having a really hard time picking it up. And I way overstudied for this because it, I think it was my last one and I just did not want to do a retake 
or retake plan, whatever the retake plan would be for this course. So I way overstudied. I did pretty daggone well on the um, OA. Uh, and I probably didn't need to study for like the two weeks that I did, but I it was my very last class and I just wanted to make sure that I for sure got by it. So I watched those Dr. Soper's videos multiple times. I watched the quiz, or not watched, I did the Quizlet. By the way, on my last like two OAs, I finally found out how beneficial Quizlet can be. I know I'm super late to the game and I should have known this from the very beginning, but uh, Quizlet is awesome. Uh, you can turn Quizlet into basically like practice tests, which really helped me learn in the last two, uh, two or three OAs that I've done where I actually started utilizing Quizlet. Because like the flashcards, I've never been good at it. It just feels like reading a book to me. Like why would I use flashcards if I could just read a book or read the definitions in the course material? But uh, turning it into a test or like doing the matchmaking game in Quizlet was very, very beneficial and I just found it towards the tail end of my degree. So uh, I'm going to keep that in my back pocket for when I pursue my MBA, which I will explain in probably my next video. But uh, anyway, so, you know, uh, the relational model, uh, SQL is big in this one, um, normalization, data modeling. Uh, there's just a few things. They're not, most OAs of this size of a class are like 70 questions. This OA was only like 50 questions. Uh, so it's a little bit shorter of OA and it's not quite as, complicated as you might think. Uh, I thought the test was actually pretty easy, especially watching those videos multiple times, you know, going over the Quizlet multiple times, or people have made a few different Quizlets. I think the one that I used mostly had like 170 uh, flashcards in it. But yeah, those videos, I watched a couple of normalization videos, um, and then the Quizlet, and that's really all I did for like two weeks and just reviewed that over and over. Those Dr. Soper's videos are long. Uh, I think I think there's like eight or nine of them, and like three or four of them are an hour plus. Uh, it was stopping to take notes and whatnot, and then uh, a few of them are like an hour ish, and a few of them are like forty to fifty minutes. Like it's a very long series, but it's a very good series. So watch that, and uh, you should be fine on the OA. All right, QFT1, the ITM Management Capstone Project. This is the very last thing. Well, actually, I've seen uh, a few people that do the capstone and then still have an OA, but even in the course, it tells you that this should be the very final thing you do, and it's usually the very final thing people do in their degree plan. I know some uh, particular degree programs don't have a capstone, but IT management does. So QFT, QFT1 IT management capstone project. Um, was this hard? No, it was not hard really at all. Was it long? Absolutely. Uh, my capstone project was 20 pages and pushing around 3,000 words. Uh, so it's a very long project. There is a, a bunch of sections to it. Um, but luckily, there is a template that goes down exactly what they want and what you need to do. Uh, and there is a supplemental video that goes by each section and explaining exactly what they want in each individual section. Uh, so that yeah, that was very helpful. Uh, any like, there's not a, any course material within this uh, capstone, by the way. It's literally just like a combination of what you have learned in your degree plan. And there's going to be maybe things that you don't remember, maybe like a SWOT analysis, which I remember what the SWOT was. But uh, you know, if you don't remember what that is, you can go to your previous uh, course materials and just look it up. You know, I think there's a little bit of supplemental material in here to kind of remind you of things here and there. But uh, yeah, well, the project wasn't hard at all. It was just very long. Um, I got a babysitter and my wife stayed at a friend's house just for like a girl's night. And I literally sat at the computer for probably like eight hours. Uh, I had worked on it a little bit here and there throughout the week also. But uh, I was like, listen, I am finishing this thing tonight on a Saturday night. And I sat here for eight hours and just knocked out the entire thing. Again, not a hard project. They're not asking you incredibly difficult things to do. Uh, it just, there's so much to do. So I don't think I can really get into too much because uh, I think it might be breaking WGU's uh, like student code of conduct to like go too in depth to what exactly they want within all of this. But I just will say, don't psych yourself out about the capstone project. It's not hard. It's just very time consuming. As with this entire degree plan, uh, you know, like I didn't think anything within this degree plan was hard. Uh, it's just all very time consuming. But I'll get into that again uh, on like a kind of a graduation wrap up video.
But yeah, that's really all I have for this. Uh, the, the capstone project is just you're making a business. Yeah, I think I can tell you that. It's just you're creating a new business and uh, yeah, you're pretty much making a business plan. So again, not hard, just very long. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have. Uh, I am done. I'm done with my entire degree, which is very exciting. Uh, they don't explain to you the misery of applying for graduation after you get done and then waiting for your confetti. For people who don't know what your confetti is, is like I guess on the app and on uh, the website when you apply. I guess I should start with that. So after you finish all of your classes, you apply for graduation. Uh, your mentor should message you or you can message your mentor uh, and they'll send you a graduation application where you put like the name that you want on the diploma. You can't vary very far from what your actual name is, but like I guess with like say my name's Jonathan, I could have put John and I guess that would have been okay. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much all it is. And then there's a survey about your experience at WGU. But after you do that and you send it in and then you just kind of wait, they say it can take anywhere from like seven to 10 days. I've seen some people say it takes three days and some people say it takes 15 days or whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, nobody tells you the misery of applying for graduation and then just sitting around waiting for them to, you know, say, hey, you're a graduate. But uh, anyway, so yeah, sorry, it's been a while. I've just been kind of enjoying my life. I haven't got to enjoy my life for the last 16-ish months since I started this. You know, every day, they don't explain to you, like, it just the looming of why are you you know watching a movie you should be studying you should be doing a class you should be doing a pa like like the anxiety of that is always you know on your shoulders so like when you don't have anything to do it is kind of nice just to sit back and relax and that's what i've been doing but i'll get into more of that when i finally receive my diploma and graduate and i'll come on here and make another video uh, but that's all i have yeah uh c175 data management foundation is not bad and the capstone not bad just both of them actually time consuming so uh, you guys will do great and uh, I'll see you back here when I graduate.